Well, as students head back to class, several Valley schools are already reporting COVID cases. Now, Team 12's Jess Winters joins us live from Desert Vista High School in Ahwatukee, breaking down more of the concerns facing students, families, and school districts this fall. Good morning, Jess. Yes, good morning. The Desert Vista football field that you see behind me isn't just empty because it is very early in the morning. It'll remain that way for several days as six players tested positive for the coronavirus. The school says an additional 16 players are quarantining because they came in close contact with those who are infected. The school is putting a pause on all activities until at least Sunday. Outbreaks, something we're seeing more of as students head back to class and practice. At Tarwater Elementary School in Chandler, the district says there's an outbreak and its dashboard indicates they have six active cases. Also, J.O. Combs Unified School District is reporting more than 60 positive COVID cases between Ellsworth Elementary and Combs High Schools. As schools start reporting cases, we asked Arizona Superintendent Kathy Hoffman about requiring students and staff to wear masks on campus. This guidance is consistent with the CDC guidance. It's consistent with the Arizona Department of Health Services. Are you asking Governor Ducey to reconsider his ban on mask mandates. Yes, I, I have already called on Governor Ducey to recall this legislation that, again, it is taking away the local decision-making authority from our school leaders to do what's best for their communities. The governor's office tells 12 News it expects schools to follow state law, which does not allow mask mandates, but adds that, quote, Arizona is not anti-mask. Meanwhile, the Maricopa County of Department of Public Health, excuse me, reports that in the outbreaks that we've seen so far in schools, 25% are in staff, 75% are in students. Keep in, stay with 12 News for the latest. For now, we're live in Phoenix, Jess Winters, Today in AZ.